Yo, what's going on guys, it's Hanson. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to create a simple deleted message logger. Uh, so yeah, basically whenever I delete messages from a channel, it should log it in this general channel. So it's really good for keeping track of, you know, people who are deleting messages and whatnot. Um, so uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go inside my project. I have a simple uh, boilerplate set up for our bot. It doesn't really do much. But the idea is we want to handle the message delete event. So whenever a message is deleted, this event will be omitted. Now it's important to note, let me actually pull it up real quick. It's important to note that this event is only going to be omitted if the message is in the cache, unless we opt into partials. Okay, so omitted whenever a message is deleted. All right, now here's the thing. If we opt into partials, I was actually playing around with this. Uh, there's actually no way you can get the content of the message um once it's been deleted obviously because it's been deleted from the discord servers right but if you want to actually get the information about the message then there's actually no way you can get it if it's not in the cache now one thing that you can go about so let me actually show you what i'm talking about real quick so if i go into client on message delete and this callback function takes in one parameter which is the message that is deleted okay and if i do a console log hello and let's just do console log message content. Okay, so if I save, the bot's gonna restart. So now if I go over here and if I delete this message, notice how nothing is going to be logged to the console. If I type something here and if I delete it, you're gonna see it says hello and then the content of the message. Okay, but that's because these messages, when the bot was restarted, these messages obviously were not in the cache. The cache being the memory that the bot is storing the messages in. Basically, there's like an internal collection or array that the bot uses to handle, um, you know, all of the messages that are cached, okay? But when I send this message, the bot sees it's gonna cache it for a period of time. It doesn't cache forever, but you can actually have it cache for, uh, I think as long as you want, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and opt into partials because we need to we, we only want to send a message to this channel if the message uh, actually has content that we can that we can actually put in here because if it doesn't then you know there's no point of sending a message in this channel so what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the parentheses where i instantiated the client object and i'm going to go ahead and say partials and partials is a way to handle uncached data okay so now that i've opted into partials the message delete event is going to be omitted every single time a message is deleted regardless if it's in the cache or not so when i restart the bot the bot is just restarted if i delete this message this message is not in the cache right but notice how the event was omitted okay but you're also going to notice that these values over here are all undefined because that message was not in the cache okay in the previous example when we deleted the message we actually had reference to the content because it was cached so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say if message.partial or if it's not a partial okay then only we're going to send a message to this channel so i'm going to get the id we're going to do const channel equals clients.channels dot cache to get we're going to pass in the id uh, obviously we want to just always for safety checks if, it, if the channel actually exists then we're going to go ahead and create a message embed and we're just going to send the information to the uh, to the channel so uh first let's just do const embed equals new message embed we're going to do set title deleted message uh, and let's see the message we'll do set description and the description of this is just going to be the content of the message so we're going to do message content and we can do a set timestamp of when it was deleted and we can set a color too but we'll leave it alone for now and i'll just send this to the channel just to see what it looks like okay and obviously you want to make sure your bot has permissions for the channel to actually send embed so i think right now this will actually uh might give me an error because i don't have permissions set up but it might not let me double check so let's go ahead and uh let's go to here okay so this message is now cached but if i delete it 
it's gonna say this in the console delete message there we go and you can obviously uh play around with it too you can give it different uh fields so for example let's say if you want to show the uh the time that it that or not the time uh let me go ahead and grab the message object real quick you can get the author of the message so you can say something like author message the author okay and we can do field channel message channel name and then we can also concatenate the ids as well so i'll do this i'm going to go ahead and use string interpolation with template syntax so do author and that's going to be message the author dot uh, we'll do tag and then i want to get the id of the author as well so we'll do message the author dot e and the name of the channel is what i want along with the id so we'll do message the channel dot id okay so let's save this and let's just do this again so let's just say if i'm spamming right okay and i want to delete these messages and then obviously it's going to say the delete message author channel and then the content of it obviously it doesn't look too nice but i think you guys get the idea of how this is supposed to work and i'll let you guys play around with the embed okay so um yeah i think that's pretty much it for this video so i'll see you guys in my next one peace